So, got a green bean electrical update. I went and cleaned up the front loom, the front, the, the front part that powers the horns and the lights and all this stuff. Went through, cleaned up all the contacts, everything. I got both, both fronts are totally rebuilt, sealed and repainted. And this was all rusted underneath here. So I, I sanded that, actually painted that, that silver. I should have clear coated it, maybe I'll do that. And tried to fix up these cracks with epoxy and I made a custom gasket underneath to make sure these really sat down. Try to make them sealed up. I had to punch through a little bit of Bondo here because these outer holes were plugged. I know all that body work was done in 1981 so this is the first time that uh, those signals have been mounted for that long but Let's see, wait, I have an idea. Nah, screw it. So here's the cool thing. We got our, we got our dash lights working. There they are. Both my running lights. Just like that, isn't that cool? So that was, I mean, this is like the fourth time I've had them on since, you know, whatever, 1981, which was, by the way, a long time ago. There are running lights. And now here's the, here's the cool thing. Let's see if I got that. Look, peoples, peoples of earth. I got my, uh, got my reverse lights. Don't have my plate lights. I need to rip these things apart and see what's up with that. But uh, some good progress. I'm going to clean up that loom. Make that look a little bit nicer. Then I'm going to go underneath and do all the wiring for the starter and all the stuff under there. Which I probably should have done first. But I'm going to go under there and clean all that up. And then come in here. Start cleaning these connections. I need to rebuild the Speedo because the front glass is off of it. I have glass and everything, but I need to rebuild that. But, you know, all told, it's just, it's a pretty simple system. There's just, I mean, it's kind of pretty rich for me to say that. I'm no electrical ologist, but it's really not crazy complex. It just looks like it wacky let me turn this thing off well people thank you for watching the continued saga actually i'm kind of annoyed that i forgot about those i'm a completionist i had the whole back end done and i didn't i didn't hit those but i'm not doing it tonight okay maybe tomorrow all right okay about the firing I got some questions. Maybe y'all could help me. Uh, no resistor required. This was, I don't know, it was recommended by somebody. I, I don't know how I feel about it. It puts out three ohms. Like if I'm testing a resistance, this thing does three ohms. I think that means it doesn't require a resistor. I have no idea if that's right or if that makes any sense. Hey, I got a question. This thing. This thing was between the coil and somewhere over here, I have a picture of it in this position. Is this a resistor? What is this thing? Where is it supposed Where is it Because I don't know. I mean, if this thing needs to go back there, it, it went this direction. If that needs to go back there, I'd, I'd sure like to know about it. Cool. Thank you. Okay, so let's try this. There's my multimeter. That is its current setting. Testing for resistance and ohms, 20,000. I think that's what I'm doing. And I got the black one here, and I got this one here, and I touch them. So 2.11 resistance, 
Is that is that what this thing is? Is this is a resistor? Is it supposed to go back on there? There it is again, in case you're curious about what it looks like. Okay, so I made some good progress. Uh, I'm pretty much, I did the lights and stuff. I've got to chase down the uh, signals. The next thing I want to think about, but, Get all those going. Uh, I haven't done these backlights yet. Car's not in reverse, but the headlights do work, and that is super cool. This light switch is still, it's still questionable. Yeah, because it's the switch. It's nothing else. It's just the switch. Come on. Come on. There they are. That's so cool. I'm so pleased. Okay, let's see now. And that should... Yep, that flips them. I have to figure out I want to put uh, fog lights on this thing. Anyway, the uh, light on dim off thing for the instrument panel works. That's pretty cool. So, the wiring is complete. The wiring works. The flasher unit is there. I don't know why the turn signals aren't working. Basically, unless this missing green light green loop means something, it doesn't it's not connected to anything. Problem's got to be in here. All the things I don't have, horn, turn signals are are on this piece, which is one of these. This is from the GT and uh so I'm just going to plug this in and I'm going to see what happens. And that made absolutely no difference, but you know, perhaps it's not being grounded. So maybe that's part of the problem. So the rest of the wiring in the front is done. What? Oh boy. I'm happy about it. This is all clean. I rebuilt this, screwed that together. I've got to finish bolting this on. And then, but this, that means this part of the electrical system is done. So after this, I'm going to get, I'm going to, I'm going to get into the car, deal with the electric under there, clean that crap. And then it's dash time. The new ignition stuff that's coming, it's not here yet. I have a step-by-step -step checklist of how to go through it methodically every single step of the way to get a good spark. So this is going to happen. This is going to happen. But this is also going to happen. I'm just going to go through, clean all this stuff. I'm debating whether to leave Green Bean with the 69 dash or go to the previous dash, the metal dash. can't really see. Because they did this thing for safety. It's got this sort of lump here, which I don't like. I wish I could convert the lump into, like a glove box or something that would hold things or I don't know, something like that. That would be great. I don't know. Anybody have any ideas about that? Let me know. Well, if you look all the way down there in the middle, right there, that thing right down there, that's the top of the solenoid. And it is now, believe it or not, that's actually really clean. It's all cleaned every so I brightened up all the connections, the electric grease through everything, it's all cranked down. So, I mean, we've definitely got good connection down here, which is wonderful. And that leaves us then basically with engine electrical system, which I can't work on yet because all the stuff is coming, which means I'm on to dash work. So, moving forward. I finally got around to the last major connection which I'd simply forgotten to do anything about. Um, and it looks just as awesome as you'd imagine. Uh, and this is the other side. So that's that's great. Um, I mean, obviously some power was <laughs> getting through, but I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna clean this up and, uh, to, you know, make that all pretty and beautiful and see if that, that helps with my spark situation. And here it is now. 
all clean and gorgeous and just just greased to heck with the electric grease and I don't know it's just it's good all clean and wrapped up and shortened and broken wire segments cut off and it's gonna be fine now finally the dash